Have you ever watched a movie and wondered how such fantastic stories come to life? The Mummy, a film that dazzles with its thrilling adventures, might seem purely fictional at first glance. However, it too is based on a grain of truth, a real historical enigma that has fascinated the world for centuries. Today, I'm going to dive into the incredible story behind one of the most mysterious wonders of the ancient world, the Terracotta Army. Join me as we uncover the reality that inspired the legends and cinematic tales. Welcome to a journey through history and imagination. In 1974, farmers in Lintong County, Shanxi Province, China, unearthed the Terracotta Army, a significant archaeological find of the 20th century. This collection of life-size clay models, including soldiers, horses and chariots, was part of the burial complex of Emperor Qin Shi Huang, founder of the Qin Dynasty. Created to guard the Emperor's tomb, or accompany him in the afterlife, the Terracotta Army provides insights into ancient Chinese warfare. Emperor Qin Shi Huang initiated this project early in his reign, enlisting hundreds of thousands of laborers. His pursuit of immortality, despite failing in other attempts, was manifested in this mausoleum. The mausoleum spans 35 to 60 square kilometers near Mount Li and remains largely unexcavated. Historian Sima Qian's accounts, describing elaborate traps and mercury rivers, reflect the emperor's divine status. The terracotta army, far surpassing traditional tomb guardians, suggests a desire to maintain imperial power in the afterlife. Crafted with unique facial features and postures, the army exemplifies Qin Shi Huang's power and afterlife beliefs. The Terracotta Army not only reveals ancient Chinese history and culture, but also immortalizes the Emperor's ambition and quest for immortality. The Terracotta Army, part of the Qin Shi Huang tomb complex, was built over 40 years by over 700,000 laborers. Crafted by hand, these life-sized warriors average 1.80 meters in height and 160 kilos in weight. Made from local yellow clay, the terracotta figures were assembled from separate pieces and meticulously detailed. After assembly, they were carved, dried, fired, and painted. The colors have faded over time. The terracotta horses were crafted similarly with separate molding and post-firing painting. The army consists of soldiers and officers each depicting various ranks and roles, like infantry, cavalry, and chariot soldiers. The main pit shows about 6,000 figures in a formation reflecting ancient military strategies, complete with different postures and arrangements. The project's scale demanded vast resources and exemplified exceptional organization and planning, showcasing the Qin Dynasty's engineering and artistic skills. Each figure, uniquely crafted despite using molds, was intricately detailed and originally armed with real, well-preserved weapons. The Terracotta Army is part of a vast 98-square-kilometer necropolis mirroring Emperor Qin Shi Huang's imperial palace. This complex, featuring various buildings and a park, surrounds a pyramid-shaped tomb mound at Mount Li's foot, enclosed by rammed earth walls. Built from 246 to 208 BCE, the tomb, a hermetically sealed space about 100 by 75 meters, remains unexcavated. Archaeological efforts have focused on the surrounding necropolis, including the Terracotta Army, which acted as a mausoleum guard. The mausoleum's design reflects Xianyang, the Qin capital, with a central underground palace yet to be fully explored. The palace, believed to be deeply buried, is at the tomb mound's heart. Sima Qian's historical accounts 
describe mercury rivers and mechanical crossbows in the tomb, signifying the emperor's divine status. These remain unconfirmed due to the tomb's unopened state. Concerns about artifact preservation, particularly after the exposure damage to the terracotta army, have deterred excavation. The mausoleum of the first Qin emperor stands as a marvel of ancient architecture, embodying the emperor's power and vision. It captivates with its hidden secrets and historical significance, representing a key chapter in China's ancient history. The terracotta army consists of life-sized figures, each distinct in height, uniform and hairstyle, based on their rank. The army includes various types, like armoured and unarmoured infantry, cavalrymen, charioteers and archers, along with high-ranking officers. Their attire and equipment differ significantly, reflecting their specific roles and positions within the military formation. The army is primarily divided into soldiers and officers. Soldiers, covering roles such as infantry, cavalry and chariot soldiers, are equipped with gear suitable for their roles. Officers are categorized into junior, intermediate and high ranks, each distinguished by unique crowns and armor styles. A significant part of the army is the infantry, the main military force, shown in battle robes or armor. The archers, both kneeling and standing, are detailed with specific postures and attire, indicating their roles in the army. Cavalry soldiers are depicted with distinct attire for mobility, while charioteers, serving as the main combat force for chariots, are heavily armoured and often accompanied by a commanding officer. The Terracotta Army's diverse composition and strategic arrangement showcase the Qin Dynasty's organised military structure. This assembly not only highlights Emperor Qin Shi Huang's military might, but also provides valuable insights into ancient Chinese warfare and societal structures. And that wraps up today's episode. I hope you're as fascinated by the mysteries and history of the Terracotta Army as I am. If you're a travel enthusiast and a history buff, this incredible site is a must visit. Imagine standing face to face with these ancient warriors. It's truly a unique experience. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on more exciting content. Let us know in the comments what you think about the Terracotta Army and which other historical sites you'd love to see featured in future episodes. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you liked today's video. See you in the next episode. Stay safe and keep exploring the wonders of history.